for more on Franco-German economic relations and opportunities to jumpstart France's economic engine, we're joined by Ansgar Belke, economist at the University of Duisburg, Essen. Now, recently we've heard a string of bad news from France. How serious is the economic situation there? I think the EU Commission recently stressed the gloomy forecast for France. Competitiveness is declining, unemployment is rising, public debt is increasing. And uh, the consumer confidence and especially entrepreneurial confidence is shrinking. And this is the most important facet, I think. So whatever happened to all those growth promises uh, that Francois Hollande uh gave uh, during the election campaign. Instead, we hear that they want to implement austerity measures now to generate some 40 billion euros, which the German Bundesbank says is not enough. Yes, uh, he stressed very much um, tax increases, uh, but did not uh, emphasize uh, sufficiently the expenditure cuts, which are certainly necessary in terms of the social budget and other things, which is uh, rather high in comparison to other uh, European countries. And uh, what is uh, even more damaging is uh, the confidence shrinking impact of, of not sticking to deficit procedures and so on. And hence, France loses much of its credibility. And this is rather dangerous for monetary policy, which is bearing much of the burden right now in rescuing mm -hmm. the euro area. OK, well, you, you just mentioned uh, the entrepreneurial responsibility. You also mentioned the tax hikes, of course. And we heard recently about all these tax havens. So we know that people with money don't like to be taxed too much. So how can a country consolidate its budget like France and keep investors happy? Yes, it could uh, go for expenditure cuts, uh, for changes in the expenditure structure, in a sense to, to make uh, the, the public more calm in expecting lower taxes in the future, lower interest rate in the future. And this means more consumption right now. OK. Well, uh, the EU Commission has granted France two extra years to reduce its debt ratio, which is above 3% of GDP at the moment. So it's above the permitted limit. Um, how important is a balanced national budget uh, for the stability of the Eurozone as a whole? Yes, as a whole, uh, it's, it's very important because uh, other countries are not allowed to be bailed out, as we uh, know. But we, on the other hand, we have to be fair vis-à-vis uh, -vis, um, Hollande because uh, what he did was to lower the structural deficit, the deficit component, which is not dependent on the business cycle stance. Business cycle stance is, is very bad right now for France. We are in a business cycle trough, and hence uh, tax income is not as high as it should be. But there are, is some endeavor which we recognize and uh, highly acknowledge from the side of Hollande in mm -hmm. cutting the structural deficit. OK, and just briefly, uh, France and Germany are obviously very big, important partners in Europe, but they don't always see eye to eye. What does this mean for the crisis strategy in the Eurozone? It is very difficult right now because we will uh, see forward towards uh, German elections, federal elections in September. And this makes many things uh, very difficult. Mm. For instance, banking union, which is a good thing for the future of Europe because uh, it enables more fiscal competition and so on. This is slowed down by the German government right now in order not to disappoint the voters because we seeing uh, the anti-Europe party emerging, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which is uh, well acknowledged also in the, in the foreign countries and it's seen rather dangerous for Merkel's governments in okay. existence. So we'll have to talk about this again after the election. Ansgar Bielke, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you very much.